Welcome to Everyday Unnaturals. Today, I wanted to show you inside my inner sanctum, my makeup bag. I picked up this bag at Daiso here in San Francisco. I love the hot pink trim and the little floral print and the foil lining for easy cleaning. And before you start commenting, yes, I know it's on the big side for a makeup bag, but leave me alone. I like to carry my entire collection on the go. Let's take a look inside. Before I get into the more complicated materials, if you're new to makeup and want something super easy and bold in less than five minutes, get some brightly colored bandages. You can cut them into various shapes, they never smudge, and they peel off easy, no makeup remover needed. Now on to the fancy stuff. I've recently been expanding my color palette beyond just white, and these sparkly powders are great for filling in large areas. Ooh, lavender pencil, great for thick lines. This is a small angled brush I scavenged from my painting supplies. It's best for detail and working with water activated materials. A microfiber cloth, of course, because glasses. A pot of liquid teal. This stuff stays on forever. More purple pencils. And black and white and more white. I really like white pencils. They are my go-to, too lazy to think of something more complicated to do makeup. Oh, and a red pencil. How did this get so dirty? And a green pencil a bit of loose black powder. This is water activated green. I use the small angled brush I showed you earlier with this. It's a little harder to get a precise line with this technique over a standard pencil, but with practice you get both precision and variety. This is my other brush. It's also angled and also stolen from my painting supplies, but used mainly to do large area color. A light brown pressed powder for when I just want a basic look, I actually have eyebrows kind of look. Another purple, but darker and with a finer tip. A blue pencil. This comes out super bright. Great. First time showing off my makeup and everything gets covered in black powder. This is yet another purple, but a twist out this time. Great for large surface area or thick strokes. Okay, self, the purple is getting a little out of control. A good sharpener for all those pencils. Charcoal gray and more white. This one is on its last legs. There is black powder everywhere. This freaking thing, you are officially banished. And that's it, my entire collection. I will be covering techniques for combining all of these materials into cohesive looks in subsequent videos, but until then, check out my very first beauty video for three lightning bolt inspired looks. Have any tips for cleaning black powder off of all of your makeup? Tell me in the comments below. and. Thanks for watching.